Hey guys, this is James from Sugarcode. I just wanted to share with you something I've just discovered, which is coming quite handy, um, especially if you're a plugin developer. So basically, what happened was is I've created a plugin, and when I activated the plugin, I got this message. The plugin generated 179 characters of unexpected output. What the hell is that? Um, so initially I thought it might be some white space between or, or up before or after the PHP tags so I went through every single file and removed any white space and still no luck and it just got to the point where I just didn't know what else to do so I kind of gave up for a bit done a bit of research and then I found this really really cool plugin which saved my life so let me share that with you now so add new and it's called debug debug sorry debug unexpected output during plugin activation brilliant name okay so let's install this plugin Okay, just going to activate it. Okay, so now it says run your plugin activation to show error log. So you have to deactivate the misbehaving plugin, reactivate it, and here you get this really nice message appear which tells you exactly the cause of your problem rather than this message which really does not help whatsoever this message gives you a really clear course of action to take to fix the issue so the issue here is undefined variable page now in blah 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 radial gauge dot php online 106 so it tells me exactly where the problem is so if we go into that file we can go to line 106 and then we can see that um, it's saying undefined variable so it seems that this variable doesn't actually exist anywhere um, maybe it's deprecated I'm not too sure but this is definitely the cause of the problem so I have actually created a workaround to that which is here so rather than using the page now variable, I'm using the not in array server PHP self and then blah blah, which um, is much better than this one anyway. So if we just remove that, resave, go back to WordPress, refresh. Um, so you see that message has disappeared now, so that means it's fixed. This, this message still shows up, but that's fine. What we're just going to do is um, refresh, go back to plugins, ref still there. Okay, so maybe we need to deactivate the plugin, reactivate the plugin. Hopefully that does it. There we go. No errors. So that is a really, really good way to. Um, debug errors when you're a plugin developer i hope this helped it really helped me out so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video